We have to remember that our sensory capacity as humans is really quite limited. We don't see infrared, you can't hear ultrasound. These sensors can see that stuff. And we may be able to learn things that we'd never be able to learn without them. She goes on to ask him a bunch of questions. She orders medication that will be delivered by drone. She looks at his shoes and says, by the way, the sensor said you have this issue. We're getting to the point where it's very hard for us to beat them at pretty much anything, despite the fact that hallucinates. They're like a kid that went to every single college in the country, and then in other countries, and then went to grad school and all those. It sort of has a bit of, a bit of everything, right? It knows a lot, but it can also confuse information. However, you can take a sing, the same kid and send him just to MIT and make sure they study engineering really, really well. And that's a much, much easier lift. The user, us, no longer tells the computer what to do. We're not writing code to execute commands. Rather, the user tells the computer what outcome they want. It's a different mindset. It goes from command-driven to intent-based outcome. The idea of great technology is that it disappears. About six months ago, they already got 300,000 of these agents working in various hospitals around the country. This is not tomorrow. This is happening real time. They can learn from experience. They don't make the same mistake twice. They can learn by actively seeking knowledge. What's fascinating is that the software that runs them is now being made open source. So then you can go into your robotics lab in your high school kid, like our high school has robots that do this, and you can plug in the software, and now suddenly you can do these sort of tasks. So we're democratizing this. Innovation does not behave like this. Everybody expects that from day to tomorrow, it's going to change that. If robots start doing the things that we're doing, who are we as humans? If you're no longer a surgeon, who are you?